Hello, hello, hello. Today's dinner will be an open steak in red wine pie with very smooth mashed potatoes and asparagus. Now, we've got some medallion beef here, um, which is very tender and as you can see, marbled with fat, so that gives it extra flavor. So that will be done in, with onions, garlic, in red wine, and trust me, mashed potatoes sound simple, but my mashed potatoes probably cost more than the steak because for me, potatoes are so bland, you've got to work hard with them. So my mashed potatoes have in um, shaved garlic, cream, herbs, black pepper, salt, and chives and whatever else I can throw in there to give it flavor. And of course, it has to go through the ricer to make it nice and smooth because I can't stand lumps in anything like that. So yeah, that's the steak and we'll see you in a minute. Now for the pastry, I must confess, I bought the pastry, okay? So, um, yeah, what can I tell you? It's bought pastry, that's it, bought, bought, bought. But what I do do is I separate it and I roll it out and add my own flavorings to the pastry so that it's not just plain, boring, dull pastry. But who's got time to be making puff pastry anyway? You can buy it in the shop. And time you finish with it, if you do your job right, it tastes just as good. Now, for the pastry, I must confess, I bought the pastry, okay? So, um, yeah, what can I tell you? It's bought pastry, that's it, bought, bought, bought. But what I do do is I separate it and I roll it out and add my own flavorings to the pastry so that it's not just plain, boring, dull pastry. But who's got time to be making puff pastry anyway? You can buy it in the shop. And time you finish with it, if you do your job right, it tastes just as good. Now, for the pastry, I must confess, I bought the pastry, okay? So, um, yeah, what can I tell you? It's bought pastry, that's it, bought, bought, bought. But what I do do is I separate it and I roll it out and add my own flavorings to the pastry so that it's not just plain, boring, dull pastry. But who's got time to be making puff pastry anyway? You can buy it in the shop. And time you finish with it, if you do your job right, it tastes just as good. Okay guys, as I said, shop bought pastry here. But as you can see, I've kneaded it over again and put in my nice herbs and spices and you do it to whatever you like, your specifications. I, You know I like a little bit of chili in there, so there's chili in there and there are all sorts of mixed herbs and spices and that is going to go in the oven for 25 minutes and will be the topping for the open steak pie. Okay, now potatoes, they're pretty boring, so you don't want to see me peeling potatoes and boiling them. Do you know what I mean? That's a bit boring. But this is the interesting bit. Now here we have two shredded cloves of garlic. There they are, they've just gone in. And we have some butter, black pepper, and salt, and Yes, the resistance is the double cream. Yes, 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 the double cream, which makes it all that much more luxurious. Now, as you can see, lathered in cream, double cream, butter, black pepper, salt, and it will go through the ricer. But what I want from you guys for Christmas, if anybody wants to buy me a Christmas present, I need something to pipe my mashed potatoes so that they look good, okay? And not just a clump on the plate. But believe me, they taste much better than they look, don't worry. Now my dairy frenzy of potatoes are all done, smooth as you like, and I'm gonna get creative with a sandwich bag. Cut the end, put the potato in it, and just pipe it out. See, needs must, you have to be creative. And that's it. But meanwhile, I can smell 
my puff pastry in the oven. Told you I could smell these in the oven. I'm telling you, nearly got burnt, but they are nice and crispy and yeah, you can see the herbs there on the top. So it's all good. Nice, fluffy puff pastry, my absolute favorite. Now here are some onions frying nicely. They'll get nice and crisp. And then I will add the seasoning. Throw in the steak, then the red wine, and let it simmer just before the steak cooks too much. You don't want it to be too um, overdone and like a builder's boot. You want it nice and tender. Okay, there is the steak with the customary brown sugar for the browning and onion garlic black pepper salt very simply seasoned and in a minute i will throw in the red wine i'll just let it catch a bit more that's what we call it some call it caramelized i'll just let it catch a bit more and then add the red wine and let it just simmer down a little and we'll be done as always that old time traditional west indian recipe of browning the sugar never fails to give you that nice thick rich color there we go and there you have it the finished product open steak pie with mashed potatoes puff pastry and asparagus there you go